What's going on, everybody? Bob's the one nine eight four here again. Newcastle United have secured the first points of the championship season by beating Redden last night by four goals to one. Um, a performance that was again a nervous affair, you know, for the first half. Um, obviously everyone thought Newcastle had been, you know, got off to the great start and and and, and went one 0 up, obviously, but uh, Dwight Gay with a cheeky little handball. But uh, you know, we, we did go. Obviously, one and up through Hayden, which was a great finish, by the way. Um, and again, the nerves just are, are there, are so evident. And obviously, I can understand, obviously, the nerves being there. Um, but you're just thinking to yourself, you know, we're, we're massive favourites to boss this league, and we're looking as nervous as, as a bunch of relegation butlers. Um, you know, I, I said to myself, you know, if, 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 if we can. In, in, in me build up, obviously, I said obviously that we're going to have a, it's going to be another nervous performance. And obviously, I thought we'd win, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but then, obviously, you know, Redden come back into the game with a throw a throw a penalty just before half time. Now, that's three games where we've conceded a goal just on half time. And you think, yes, well, what is going on? Are the heads dropping? Or, you know, they're, they're not seeing the whole half through. There's obviously some sort of problem there. Um, but anyway, obviously, we come up in the second half, we get a penalty for ourselves, and Matt Ritchie. Dispatches the penalty, but then obviously the goal of the night is obviously Dwight Gale's free kick. It was an absolute pearler into the top corner, and obviously finish it off with a nice tap in to make it a four-one. Um, but the, the the plus side for me is um, was obviously the fact that we scored four goals. But Yap Stam said after the game, obviously Redden manager, he said after the game that he didn't believe it was a three a three goal margin win. And I have to say I agree with him, yeah, you know, because um, you know that's not Newcastle. In spells again, played all right, but we 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 look far too nervous still on the football, and hopefully this is now going to calm us down. Um, obviously, we've now got that first win on the board, first points as well, scoring four goals at home, which obviously makes it even better. But you know what I'm what I'm taking from the game is is positives, and the positives that I'm taking is Dwight Gale has got two goals, our new number ninety on three for the season out of three games. Uh, Matt Ritchie looks looks really good. Um, and obviously the, the team that, that, that Benita has decided to play put um, Benita back at right back, um, and then obviously had um, Matt Ritchie playing on the on the right, and and he dropped Aaron's and played Gufran, and it, you know Gufran is a forgotten man almost. Now I've never been one of Gufran's biggest fans, but you know he put in a shift, but he didn't really do anything from from what I've seen, um, and I, I think. You know Hayden and Shelby is like the pretty much the the midfield at the moment. Uh, you know I think they both did quite well. Um, you know Paul Dummett getting the captaincy was a very was a big a big surprise. I was was quite surprised he actually dropped the cells three games into the season. And um, you know there might be another reason behind that. But you're dropping your captain after two mediocre performances. Yes, but you know you're not exactly instilling them with confidence by dropping them that early. But in Rafa we trust. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously it's satisfactory. We've come away with a win. You know, we've got that uh, monkey off our back in terms of, um, you know, he's a doing shit and all this kind of palaver. But, you know, we'll go to Bristol City now on Saturday and we're hoping for another three points to just obviously, you know, keep the, the you know, the, the steadiness going and the, the fact that we're, we're now off the mark. But, uh, you know, I can't be disappointed. I, I, you know, I can only be happy that we've got up to the, you know, the, the got off the mark. But, it's the fact that um, we're still putting in the nervous performances, but hopefully with three points now on the board, that will make these nervous performances disappear. But yeah, my name is Bobster1984. This is a quick review for the Newcastle United win, 4-1 against Redden last night. And I'll be doing the preview for Bristol City tomorrow night, as always, on Friday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and if you like this video, obviously here, hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you're a Newcastle fan, or if you just like to hear a Newcastle fan talk about football. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. But anyway, my name is Bob Someone 984. Thanks very much for watching again. And I'll see you all in the next video very soon.